In Greenville, the town common is decorated in red, white, and blue for the Field of Honor, and it's now open to the public for a walkthrough. Kicked off this morning with an opening ceremony, WNCT's Emily Gibbs reports. 500 flags line the town common, honoring the community's heroes. A special moment to give thanks to everyone who's gave their service, gave their lives. It's a really special day. Saturday officially marked the opening of the memorial, one where each flag was given in honor of someone special. Among those who spoke, longtime WNCT anchor Alan Hoffman. 47 of those flags represent the guys who, who will never come home with me from Vietnam, who will always be 22 years old, who, who won't see their families grow, but they gave every inch of themselves for freedom for this country. I dedicated one to my father, who served in World War II in the Pacific. Ready, run, right, right. Besides a chance for the city to come together for the opening ceremony, it was also a time for people to reflect on what the red, white, and blue truly mean to them. It's, it's hard to talk because I, I lost someone who was like a son to me, and he was in the Marines. So it's very, very difficult, but it was wonderful to see people out here honoring individuals who give their lives. And, you know, the, the flag and everything that it stands for means that no matter what, everybody's going to stand together. And through the hard times, through the terrible times, there's a lot of bad things going on in this country, but we're all supposed to stand together. The flags will stand for six weeks, running through the 4th of July. I think it not only should come back, I think it should come back bigger. I think people need to get more involved. I think we're all Americans, and if you want to really have a wonderful country, you need to support things like this. In Greenville, Emily Gibbs, 9 on your side.